Welcome back. If you have a disease in your veins, it could range from something simple like spider veins or it could be more dangerous and more painful. Today, we're going to focus on vein disease and tell you about new treatments that mm -hmm. are available. Absolutely, and all of them can be done in the office using local anesthesia. So Dr. Deborah Mangioni is the medical director at Wisconsin Vein Center and Medispa, and she's here with more, right, Deb? Yes, good morning. Good, good morning. morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. You know, it, it's surprising, I guess it shouldn't be surprising, that vein disease is still the most um, prevalent you know, vascular, of all the vascular disease. diseases. It's more even heart disease. Yes, more prevalent than heart disease or peripheral vascular disease. And yet, it's the one area that we are taught the least about in medical school. And so, physicians don't know as much about it as they really should today. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is if it's so prevalent? Well, because I think people always thought that veins were a cosmetic issue. Mm -hmm. So, when people had varicose vein problems, unless they had a really co bad complication of it, like with ulceration of the leg or venous stasis, where the leg can be very swollen and discolored it was discounted as something unimportant mm -hmm. and so because of that a lot of people still when they see patients in the office the physicians look at them and say well that's just a cosmetic issue you don't have to worry about that totally I, I even remember because I've told you I've had um, my veins done and it, it looked cosmetic I mean, it looked like I had little bruises on my legs mm -hmm. and spots and I remember asking they're like oh it's no big deal that happens to everyone well, yeah, 70% of women will get spider veins at some yeah. point in their life, and so it does happen to many, many of us. However, varicose veins or an underlying vein problem mm -hmm. causing the spider veins may be more of an issue that should be addressed. Yeah, and how do you recognize the difference? Because there are symptoms. There are definitely symptoms that help decide whether or not somebody needs something done. And the symptoms range for anywhere from just fatigue at the end of the day, heaviness, but leg cramps, leg swelling, um, discomfort, restless leg feel, mm -hmm. all those things can actually be symptoms of varicose vein disease itching. or vein disease. Itching, and even burning. with the spider veins, itching and burning. Those are very typical localized things like where spider veins are. But even if you just have those things, you don't see spider veins or see something on the surface, it could mean you have an underlying problem with the veins that you can't see. I was mm -hmm. going to ask, is it something that you have to see or can you have not, this problem and, and not yeah. even really see it visually on your legs? You can have the problem without seeing it visually on your legs. Usually that occurs in women because women tend to get symptoms earlier than men do as far as the size of the veins and how they look. The veins are returning the blood to our heart and lungs and so if the veins aren't working what's happening is gravity is holding blood in your legs and so your blood your legs are actually congested mm -hmm. and the, the blood is staying there used blood and so that's what gives you the symptoms. And so women may have very small varicose veins, those bulgy veins on the surface, or they may not have any evidence of it and yet still have symptoms. Whereas men can have huge, ugly, bulging mm -hmm. veins, and they don't bother them, you know? And they, right. However, Just like wrinkles, they right, don't really bother but men. Then, <laughs> but these are worse. Right, but then men can have complications, and that's what's not recognized, especially by physicians. Look at the difference in these before and afters. Yeah. That is striking. It is. It really is. It's amazing what can be done today, because it can be done in the office in a minimally invasive fashion meaning only through needle punctures using local anesthesia even this kind of that's uh, advanced right. people do not have to have long involved vein strippings and hospital stays and blood loss and ugliness and out of work for two weeks they're back to normal activities immediately mm -hmm. is that that almost looks a danger like a dangerous it condition does. can it be dangerous what can happen is if the veins aren't working and there's enough congestion in the legs the legs get swollen the skin can get leathery you can have discoloration of the lower part of the leg and when that happens you can have what we call ulcers, okay? And ulcers are non-healing sores on the legs. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, it can lead to infection, can lead to lead to all kinds of problems where these things don't heal for years unless something is done. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's great. I mean, you're, you're a cardiovascular surgeon, so recognizing that this is a problem, you know, with the structure inside of our body is important for you, whether it's cosmetic or whether it's medical. Right. Knowing that there can be underlying problems, you've got to figure it out. Right. I think we have a unique approach to varicose veins because we can handle all kinds of venous disease, mm -hmm. the whole spectrum, and do it very well. Because I have a vein center with a medical spa, we've been using lasers, we've been using injections sclerotherapy but we do the diagnostic tests necessary mm -hmm. if we're suspecting something more we have ultrasound right on site that we use we do all the laser procedures to close off the bigger veins that need to be closed off I'm a surgeon so I can do the minimally invasive removal of the big bulgy veins through little needle punctures so I think we really can offer the everything being done at one spot the, mm -hmm. you know the one-stop shop for women who may have or men who may have little issues with veins or big issues with veins we mm -hmm. can handle either Absolutely. See, see, some women probably would just not even address it and think that they need to just cover up, never wear shorts anymore. Right. Yeah. And a lot what would you of say to them? Just come in and get it taken care of. Just come easy, in, right? have a consultation, talk to us. 
it, it truly is an issue that women, we see women all the time, young women, who after they've had children have had changes in their legs because of the veins, yeah. and they do not wear shorts, they do not wear dresses or skirts any longer. I, is it true that crossing your legs or wearing heels does add to the problem cosmetically? Crossing the heel, uh, cro excuse me, wearing heels can be a problem because when you're wearing a heel, your calf muscles aren't contracting as much when you walk. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, you're not emptying your legs as efficiently mm. because the veins underneath your muscles, your deep veins, empty much better because of a pump system when your calf muscles pump and mm. work. Crossing your legs doesn't really cause a problem unless Good. you have some veins in the back yeah. of your legs. Okay. And if you do, then you can be obstructing their return of flow. So if you have veins near the surface on the back of your legs, you could be developing spider veins or even varicose veins on the back because you are obstructing some blood flow just by the activity of the legs crossing one another. Mm -hmm. So for the best drainage, yes, don't cross your legs. Then wear flats. And wear flats. Oh. At least walk around. Those are our <laughs> exercise. Do a lot of walking. That's important. <gasps> or yeah, do active. those things and just and see Dr. Deborah right. Mangione. Yeah, that's the other <laughs> okay, well, here's a great special. This is a huge special. There's two of them going on right now, so pay attention. First, $100 off spider vein treatments for anyone who visits Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpa. But right now, and right now only, the first five callers will get free cosmetic spider vein treatment. This is huge. This could save you like $400, okay? So the first five who call, here is the phone number for the Wisconsin Vein Center and MediSpa, 262 746 9088. Write it down, call it the first five only. 262 746 9088. We'll get free cosmetic spider vein that's treatments. Right, that's one treatment per patient, mm -hmm. and it really is great. It, it can be, even if they have medical vein problems, after that's taken care of, we'll still do the spider vein treatment for free if that's they call us. Very generous. So thank that's you. Great deal. Thank you. All right.